So we've got some family business. We've got announcements. Thank you. I know it was just, yeah, it was flagrant. Okay. <laughs> so one of the most important things that we always want to remember is just like, why are we here? We're not a service organization, y'all. Okay. <laughs> so, so our mission, our call as, as Grace Church to the Valley. So I want to read this together. Do you guys have this on the overhead? This, in case you wondered why we're here and what we believe, what our core values are at Grace Church, this is it. This is why we're here. So let's read it together. Releasing heaven's realities through Jesus Christ by loving God and loving people. Amen. No greater call. So thanks for being with us this morning, whether you're here in person or joining us online. Yay. If you are new to Grace or if you have some things that are happening in your life that you'd like us to know about, please grab that communication card. We have a paper card in the chairs here, the chair backs here, or you can do it online. You could put it into the notes or you could go on to the phone app and you can send us your prayer requests and just kind of keep us up to date because we want to stay connected with you. And on the next slide, look, I totally did that, but isn't it a good picture? Okay, moving on. <laughs> and then on the next slide, we have sermon notes. We don't hand out paper notes anymore, but we have excellent sermon notes that you can fill in on your cell phone uh, or your tablet, whatever you bring to church with you, and that's great. And I just want to take a minute. We've been doing this thing where we're checking in on Facebook Live. I know we're a little slow to the game, but we're in it now. So if you have your cell phone, go ahead and turn down the volume. But go ahead and check in at being at Grace at church this morning and encourage your friends to join you, whether you're at home or whether you're here in person. It's the same, same family. Some of the things we have happening every week, uh, I'm going to go over those. Celebrate Recovery happens on Sunday nights. It goes from 5.30, dinner at 5.30. You'd think I would know because every week I read it, right? Oh, my gosh. So dinner starts at 5.30, and that happens over in the fellowship hall, and that's for anybody who's walking through issues in life. I don't know. Does that count for anybody else? Okay, yes. <laughs> All right, so issues. If you've got issues, oh, you're breathing. Hey, this might be a group for you. <laughs> really good and Kevin and Ionia Ott lead that and they're excellent resources for information if you want to learn more about that. Monday nights starting at 5 o'clock goes from 5 to 6 30 we have prophetic prayer over in the fellowship hall join us we come together we pray we pursue the Lord's heart and we pray into those things and it's a wonderful thing it's part of the DNA of our church prayer and and prophetic just saying Lord we want to hear from your heart Wednesday nights, I have Jim, and that's the Grace Youth Ministry. It meets from 6 to 7.30 over in the Fellowship Hall. We have a supper church platform, and we're talking about, I'm coming into a series now for the next number of weeks. We're going to be talking about all the hot topics that are hitting all of the students from junior high and senior high. I think church should be the place that you talk about those things. There's a lot of things that are happening in culture and community that are trying to push a narrative opposite to the Lord. And we know where that ends. It does not end well. And so, but if we don't equip the kids to be able to discern what's coming down, and so it's like, it's a series that's going to be called Equipping Champions. And so we're going to hit, like I said, all the hot topics and sharing what the Bible says, what God says, versus what culture and community says, so that nobody's going into battle unarmed. Uh, yeah, it's good. I'm super excited, in case you couldn't tell. Um, on next Saturday, we are going to have an amazing celebration of life for our dear friend, Karen Brooks, who's made that transition from here into eternity, into the arms of the Lord that she loved so much. And so I just want to invite everybody as part of her church family uh, to come and be with us. It's going to be at 1030. Yeah, 1030 next Saturday, May 22nd. You are invited as we celebrate her life together. Grace Notes, if you have not had a chance to pop in and get the newsletter for Grace Church, it's called Grace Notes, and it highlights all the events and sign-ups and things that are happening. It kind of keeps you on the cutting edge. This June, we have a youth adventure retreat, and that's going to be the last weekend of June. There's limited spots available, and if you are interested, that's for junior high and senior high. We're going to be going to the Bar M Ranch. It's going to be 
awesome. It's going to be so good. Mitchell Wally will be the keynote speaker for us. And the Lord's using him, and he's just great. We just love him. There's going to be worship. There's going to be word. There's going to be hikes and activities. And so we're very excited about that. The cost is 125 per person. Uh, if, you would, if you have a student that would like to go, and if cost is an issue, please contact me. We don't want that to be a barrier. So just wanted to invite all the kids to that. And there's four, at least, four different ways to give. If you've been looking for that, there's online. You can give online through the phone app. You can walk in and drop stuff in the box. You can put stuff in the mail. It's all good. And so that's, I think, all that I have. Is there anything else? I'm going to do one short plug. Starting in July, I'm going to be um, hosting the Love and Logic series again. And it's excellent. We'll have a sign-up out front next week. And so it's just six weeks, and it's DVD-driven. And if you're breathing, it's a great series for you to take on, regardless of your age. So that's all I got. Anything else? And with that, I'd like to also release all the children to Children's Church, from nursery through elementary school and for the youth, the students. So all the kids go. data error problem, wouldn't it? That would be on my end. Amen. Well, it's good to see everyone. We had, uh, it was, you know, I say this about every vacation. I, it's always so nice to get away, but it's always so nice to come back. I, it's always nice to come back and to be able to hang out with our, with our spiritual family together. If you've got a Bible, Ephesians chapter 5, I'm sorry, I, I need to take the, the, the offering. Man, I, I'm gone two weeks and I forget how to do everything. The, the verse I want to read, verses, is Genesis chapter 28. Then Jacob made a vow, saying, If God will be with me and keep me in this way that I am going, and give me bread to eat and clothing to put on, so that I come back to my father's house in peace, then the Lord shall be my God. And this stone which I have set as a pillar shall be God's house. And of all that you give me, I, sure, I will surely give a tenth to you. You know, isn't it interesting? Th this is Jacob, the grandson of Abraham, that is stepping into tithing. See, tithing was not something that was imposed under the law, some kind of special tax or something like that. Abraham tithed to Melchizedek, and we just read about Jacob tithing. Now, tithing was incorporated into the law as a means by which God could bless his people. It is one of the ways that we actually worship God. It, one of the ways we, we honor him is in our giving, honoring him as our provider, honoring him as our God. And so let's stand together. We're going to make a declaration as we give today. Mickey already talked about the ways of giving. There's a box in the back there that you can drop it in if you're here. There's all kinds of other ways to give. But let's make this declaration together. I declare breakthroughs are coming in my life. Sudden bursts of God's goodness, not a trickle, not a stream, but a flood of God's power, a flood of healing, a flood of wisdom, a flood of favor. I am a breakthrough person, and I choose to live breakthrough-minded. I am expecting God to overwhelm me with his goodness and amaze me with his favor. This is my declaration. Amen. You can be seated. 